Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Jake with Between Lines Fishing and today I'm going to talk to you about something that's very important when you're in a tournament. And that is measuring your fish. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial to make sure that you know the proper way how to measure a fish when you got it so you don't get tripped up. Um, surprisingly or maybe unsurprisingly this is something that can mess some fishermen up and if you don't do it properly it's something that can get your fish disqualified and obviously as a tournament angler you don't want that so this is going to be something really quick that I'm going to share with you just to make sure that you are ready for the upcoming um, kayak bass fishing season. Alright here we go. So you just caught your fish or in this case a cat toy. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the face of this fish is pushed up against the fence of your measuring board. Or in my case, my brand new catch board. I'm looking for a sponsor. Now, you want to make sure that your fish is pushed all the way up to the fence of your measuring board. This is very important. You want the face up against the fence and the mouth closed. You don't want it to be back here at all or the mouth open because that could lead to your fish being disqualified and it not counting for your tournament. Now this is important when you're holding it down, you want to make sure that your hand is not underneath the gill plate. That can, this is something that can also end up having your fish disqualified and not covering the eyes, okay? This is also another thing that will end up getting your fish disqualified. So you're holding your fish down Make sure that the tail is completely flat up against the measuring board. You can see that our little toy here only comes in at about 11 inches. So this actually would not count in a tournament. Uh, all KBF tournaments and any other um, kayak bass fishing tournaments that I've done requires the fish to be at least 12 inches. So if it's not 12 inches, it will not count either. So now you know, after you make sure that your fish is laid flat, faces up against the bump board, mouth is closed, tail is flat so it can be measured. The most important thing that you want to make sure is that your identifier tag is somewhere inside the picture. Uh, I can tell you from experience that I have released fish um, after the fact and realize I don't have my identifier somewhere here on the picture. I've seen some people where the identifier on their hand, uh, that seems to be fine. I know you can also buy clips um, that latch on to your measuring board. Um, that, that's also a good idea to do. But something that would be uh, smart for you to do is buy a pair of uh, fish grips. You can get them on Amazon. I think they're between 10 and 20 bucks. They're not very expensive. But after you've measured your fish, lip it with your fish grips, drop it off the side, check your pictures, make sure that they're good to go so you can submit them. If they're not, just bring it right back on, put the fish back on your measuring board, and redo it. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. All right, guys, so one more thing worth noting that kind of goes along the lines with how to properly measure your fish. Um, right here, I'm on the KBF website, and it specifically states right here, I'm going to read this off verbatim, Acceptable measuring boards include the hog trough manufactured by Hagen's, a fish strike version 2 by Yak Gear with the bump board arrows and slide blocks, the aluminum catch, uh, catch board products measuring board, and the catch bicarbonate and the catch X measuring board. Now, the aluminum versions of uh, catch boards can be a little pricey. Um, they run about 60 bucks, I want to say. Uh, don't take my word on that, but the bicarbonate one is this one right here. Uh, it's only 30 bucks, and I'm telling you, I, it, it's a lot more durable than the one I had last year, and it's also a lot easier to um, to read the read the measurements. Now I know some people have complained about the fact that the KBF is moving towards only using catch boards. But honestly, it's not a bad thing. Uh, they're, besides the fact that they're a good quality measuring board, it's also good to have consistency throughout your company or throughout uh, competition of any sort. Uh, making sure that everyone is using a uh, catch board, you know that if it says, you know, 14 inches right here, you know it's 14 inches. You, you know that 
whatever type of board that catch puts out, it's going to be the exact length for every fish across the board. And you just don't know that, like if you're going with other brands. So um, totally for, I'm totally for shilling out for catch boards. Like I said, hey, I'll take a sponsor any day. But seriously, yeah, good quality board. Uh, do yourself a favor. Uh, go out, get your catch board. Uh, it's a good quality, even if you just get the bicarbonate one here for 30 bucks. They're durable, they last. And, you know, in the end, we all just want to compete, right? So if you want to compete, you got to follow the rules. All right, I hope this uh, little tutorial was helpful for you. Give me a subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments section. All right, have a good one, guys.